open up my front door and there's a tree on my car, my truck. Awakened by a loud crash, where last night's storms were strong enough to knock down a tree and a telephone pole in the by state. After today's rain, temperatures dramatically warm up. We're headed into the 80s for Saturday and Sunday. We'll talk about when thunderstorms are expected to return as well. Funding for food deserts, the new Illinois program that could build more supermarkets closer to your neighborhood. A housing market in blue. What homeowners can expect from the real estate industry this spring season. One million dollars up for grabs. The worldwide competition St. Louis businesses can apply to for the first time. This is Today in St. Louis, focused on you. You know what? Mm. They say that April showers bring those May flowers. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not May yet, but look at that. Ah, Kirkwood Farmer's Market, yeah. all abloom. For a list of all the farmer's markets that are open right now this season, just head to the Ask Eat on TV section of KSTK.com. Time to get your hands dirty in the garden. Oh, yeah. Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday, April the 11th, Sydney's birthday. I'm ready not. Yes, <laughs> it is my birthday. <laughs> Thanks so much, Trini. I appreciate it. Y'all been so sweet about this today. Mm. Yeah, I'm Sydney Stallworth. Michelle Lee is off today. And thanks so much for waking up with us on my birthday, especially those who are watching on 5 mm -hmm. Plus. Mm -hmm. Now, we just saw all those flowers out there that were soaking up the rain we had earlier this morning. Let's get on over to Anthony in just a second. You can tell us what we're seeing now. Hey, Anthony. Hey, good morning. Yes, and happy birthday. We'll keep the Thank theme going. You. We did have the rain come and go overnight. It is finally out of here, and so we will have drier weather to look forward to the next couple of days. But the Doppler radar does show that we still have a few lingering showers in and around the Illinois side of the river, but most of Missouri has dried out. You can see the green that's still lingering for you out towards Mount Vernon, places like Mascuda, Lebanon, even over towards O'Fallon. Uh, you still have a few showers, but look at that. We're drying out in St. Louis Metro. We will have most Mostly cloudy skies today and this afternoon, while it's not a steady rain, you could have another brief shower. 63 for the high and very, very gusty winds develop today. Gusts could top 30 to 40 miles per hour. We'll talk about the warm weekend on the way. In the meantime, now let's get over to Paul Cook and get an update on our morning traffic. Good morning, Paul. Good morning, Anthony. Life is good on our roadways, but I'm always looking for orange on a traffic map, which, well, it means I'm doing traffic, but it also means there's construction to deal with. And out here in Lake St. Louis, you see Lake St. Louis right in the center of the screen. We've been having traffic there, 6440 at 70, a little bit closer here to me, and then on over 70 where you have Cave Springs and Zumble construction here coming up at 7 a.m. So you have about an hour to sneak on by it there. It's not closing the highway, but it could cause you delay. We also want to look right here where the construction at Bates is going to affect traffic starting next week for quite a while. Now we closed this up. They did with MoDOT a couple months ago because of kind of a sinkhole situation. Now you've got potholes and just drainage issues. They're going to redo Bates, but it's not today. It starts on Monday. We'll have another take of traffic coming your way soon. New this morning, cleanup is now underway at a home in Waterloo where a tree fell into a car in the middle of the night. The homeowner tells us she woke up to a loud crash just after midnight. A telephone pole also came down near South Church Road, cutting off the power for just over an hour. I heard a loud bang at like 12, 1230. I opened up my front door and there's a tree on my car, my truck. Thankfully, no one was in the car, so no one was hurt. So we do have an update for you this morning on an Amber Alert out of Southern Missouri. A three-year-old boy from Perryville who went missing for several hours has been found in Tennessee. The Missouri State Highway Patrol says his father took him from his mother after allegedly assaulting her. Three hours after the alert went out, both were found and the father was taken into custody. Come on over to your screen if you can and take a look at this map here. Now, this orange on the USDA map shows the areas where people have to travel at least 20 miles to get to the nearest grocery store. These areas are often called food deserts. Our Megan Kernan joins us now live from Belleville with the new Illinois program that could get your neighborhood more food options. Megan. Good morning, Rennie. That's right. Illinois launched the new grant program earlier this week. It's going to help bring more grocery stores to communities and improve those that are already open. It's all part of the $20 million Illinois Grocery Initiative, and the need is great here. As you can see on the map from USDA, many communities have to travel far 
for a nearby grocery store. It's called the New Stores and Food Deserts Program. Now, grants will range from $160,000 to $2.4 million with a one to three match requirement from businesses. The funds will help with construction and renovation costs. It will also help with first year operation costs. Now, let's talk about the eligibility requirements. Applicants must be located in a food desert area or less than 30% of revenue from alcohol and tobacco sales, accept SNAP and WIC programs, and also contribute to a diversity of fresh foods available in the community. Local government and independent grocers with less than 500 employees and no more than four locations can also apply. Now, applications are being accepted through May 24th. And if you want to learn more about this program coming up in our next half hour, we'll tell you how you can do that in a webinar that's happening soon. Live in downtown Belleville, Megan Kernan, five on your side. Thank you, Megan. Let's get into what's happening today. This evening, ground will be broken on a brand new public safety facility in Imperial. The new Jefferson County Sheriff's Office substation and Rock Township Ambulance Station will be built off of Lions Den Road. The groundbreaking is going to happen at 6 o'clock tonight, and the facility is expected to open late next year. All right, let's get to our weather first forecast and an update as we go into the weekend. At the bus stop first, we have rain that has already come to an end, so we're cloudy now. It will become windy today. We'll have some sunshine break out this afternoon, 63, and there still could be a brief shower around uh, this afternoon. Brief, the key word here, it's not going to rain all day. The steady rain has wrapped up, though. It has moved all across Missouri and away from us now into parts of Indiana. I want to show you the map, put it into motion here because we are expecting to see a break in those clouds through the day. You see these little speckles of green here on the map later on. That's the spotty brief shower chance that exists uh, this afternoon and evening. But after that, the clouds will clear away overnight and we are looking at a bright start to the weekend. It is going to feel like summer this weekend, so a good time to maybe get some fresh sunscreen. 70 degrees uh, for tomorrow, but we go back into the 80s for Saturday and Sunday. So again, if you're spending any amount of time outside in this type of weather, usually about 30 minutes for a sunburn. We'll talk about when the next round of rain is expected to move on in for next week. That's in the extended outlook. Severe storms hit the Gulf Coast hard. What the National Weather Service is saying about the suspected tornadoes. And protecting your children from predators. The steps you can take today to keep your kids safe online. Now today is National Pet Day and we want to see your pets. We don't care what kind of pets they are. <laughs> yeah. Frogs, dogs, <laughs> hogs, bring them. All right. Text photos to your pets to 314-425-5355 and you may just see them right here on the TV.